Hi there, this is Limberock, and I want to play Bivak by Frost Epex. An hour's walk to the nearest town to mail a letter, can you believe it? Don't worry, that won't stop you hearing from me. I've set up camp already and the pine smells delish. Now I get a chance to explore, so I can give you a guided tour. You'll get three more letters from me before you head out. One a week, okay? Okay. So, excited to play this. This is, it. This is my second playthrough. Um, in the first playthrough I could not find all the stones. But Frost Epex gave me a nice hint and I will try to complete this map now. So this is set in a low poly environment. You see the, the hands are all uh, low polygon. Makes it feel like a completely different game here. So you can touch the grass here, the flowers. Makes a sound very cool. Kind of reminds me on an old Nintendo 64. And uh, this map features some new feature, a uh, new uh, game mechanics. Um, for example, I get a backpack where I can store items. This is very cool. Completely new item here. Okay, this is now seen with a campfire, some camp here. Nobody's in there. And the backpack, just take this like this. Here's a letter. This place is crazy cool. I keep finding new things to explore. Crazy markings everywhere. Hope it's not another Indian burial ground. You should totally drive up so we don't have to walk for supplies. But drive care safely. Two more weeks to go. Nessa. Alright, so can just put this in the backpack here. Grab it here and when it when the um, circle just glows yellow, you can put it somewhere. Very cool. Okay. So, so I know I need to take this. This is a battery. And let's just go further. We have a bucket here that will have some use later. Skybox here. <laughs> okay, and there's a cabin in the woods. mail. There is another battery. Just we don't need this, I think. Put this here. Take a look what's inside. So all very very basic here. And this is cool, this is another thing. So you get a working compass. There's a map something is marked here so north is here and as you know how you know how to read a compass it's pretty cool so here are now uh, points marked so these in the west north and east we can find something the trees are marked tread unseen and we just have to find this uh, shape which gives us the reference point from which we can start just put this into the backpack. Very useful feature that. There's another thing. Um, haven't worked out for the use for this one. Um, because I've never got that far before. Okay. The banging screams through my bones every now brings them closer to their okay I can't hard to read this font to own I don't know the weird calls for my the wind calls for my help they must be scattered forever to save our humanity all right 
mysterious message there. So I got a hint where it, one of the stones might be. I tried to have a look at this. Okay, the hint worked. There is it. Can I climb up here? How can I get the stone from up there? Oh, yes. Come on. Just can't go. Okay, um, I think I know what I need. So, first of all, the found out that I can actually use this later. Just put this into the backpack as well. I need something to climb up, climb up there, but I think here I do not find it. There was another place. There we have some boxes, and I will just take one of those boxes. Hopefully this will already be it. Maybe that canoe paddle over there. Can I might... Yes, I can carry that. Just speed this a bit up. Interesting jump. Nope. Yes, got it. Okay, was not able to find this one before, and screen loses all the color when I find this. Okay, nice. Whew. Thanks for that. That hint worked. Okay, now my backpack is full. <clears throat> Things that I don't need, I need all of that. So I'll just take this with me, carry it by hand. And you now need the reference point from the map. When you walk from the house up here, there is some um, way here you can follow it and when you do that you will find this little pond just put this one here when you take a look at the oh not this mm, that one take a look at this um, you see there's your reference point and when you we now go to the north we can find the f another stone so let's take this so the north is in this direction just follow it and we can see there's a campfire So we now have um, a campfire, some pond with water in it and a bucket. And we just take the campfire out here. I think this was a cool uh, thing to to solve so you can actually fill this bucket up 
and it it not only fills up um, completely you can fill up parts of it so this is pretty cool I think needs another one and we can al already see there's our next stone. Okay, now have I already lost track? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's it's a wood with trees and stuff, and you can easily get lost. There it is. disintegrated it. It's safe to take this. And again the, the color fades. Ooh. Seems that these stones have some mystery in here. I go back to the pond where the other stone lies. There it is. Okay, found this one as well. And next mystery in the west. This was the stone that I could not find in the, um, with that marking there. But in the west is this. This was the symbol was um, hard at first, but straightforward to find them. So in the west when we have north here we have the west in that direction and when I already take a look here you see there is a tree marked with it. So on my first playthrough I, I was just wondering what this um, indicates, but I found out it indicates there's a cave here. And um, I tried to somehow do something with a tree, I watered it and I, I even sacrificed a sandwich from those found by the tent to it in, uh, well, hopeful expectation that it grabs out that other stone that I just found on a branch of the tree there. So. <laughs> That's that's cool. So mysterious cave. Just place these here. Come on. Got gotcha. you. It is too dark. I have to find a flashlight. So went back to the marking there just to find that there's another cave. So I think the marking on the tree is is meant to indicate that here you f I find the the caves. So it's very cool, very very nice mystery to solve. I mean the 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 new mechanics. Those this this backpack is really cool. I get a compass. Great stuff. Really cool. So here's no different cave. A 
and there we find a flashlight that needs some batteries. So I just where is there is it. Cool. And now I have a working flashlight. Which I can hold in different hand positions. Cool. I can't go further here because I have to find something that helps me to get down there. Let's take a look if something is hidden here. Nope. So here, nothing. Somebody was here because there's an opened tin of food. So I go back to the other cave to see what mystery it will reveal. sounds okay a letter and there we find something we can make use of this So, I also found that one. And I don't know if I should place this one here. Do something about that here. Oh yes, the, the color fades as I just touched that other stone. Oh, it's slowly coming back. I think it will have to do something here with that later, but let's see. Just try to collect the stones at this moment. And here we see another cave. I think that's about all that I can find here. found the next stone. Hmm. Okay, a little problem here. What can we leave here? 
We will need this one later. Maybe this. We have to find the other stone here in the east. It is somewhere in the east. Um, let's get that. So I can just let leave this here. Okay. Yeah, we can leave this also here. We know where this is. Go back to it later. So from the little pond in the east, which is because everything was in the west, um, I just have to find the backyard of that um, little cabin. I still have a vague idea where it was. As far as I got this, the markings on the tree just refer to the direction where we can find it and then we basically have to search the perimeter for interesting thing that we can interact with very cool okay. where was it i think somewhere So on my first playthrough I walked like two hours through the woods to find stuff, go back to the cave and see if I had missed something. I just did not find the, um, the stone hidden on the branch of the tree. Somewhere here it had to be. There was small tree is it that no Too easy to remember this. Oh, there's the other cave. I think I am already too far. It was some, wasn't it somewhere here? wrong now. Just can't find it. I mean that that uh, is something it was inside there. That Small tree, little symbol there. There, got it. Easy, ha, <laughs> I knew it. So there's that other symbol here. And I just need 
the shovel and do a yeah there there it is just need to bear to the ground there it is ha and color fading I think I won't need the shovel again we'll take it with me maybe later or something don't know we got that oh back to the cave which was behind the tent somewhere so we got one on under the campfire we got one on the branch of a tree behind the cabin we had one buried we found one in the very dark cave and now we have found some kind of rope that we can use to get down into the other cave here there are our other stones Okay, don't know if I need this somewhere. Um, take this and these other two. I think I have to take them into my hand. Right. The cave was behind there. I mean, that letter said um, they must be scattered, so I assume they mean the stones, and I just um, bring them all together to one place. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see, I need this one in a minute, so I can put this in here. I need this one. Okay. Bam. Cool. Can I get yes? music here. Very large cave here. Okay, and here. Dearest Alice, progress is slow and we is being kept here past giving I get paid more. I will treat you good. Just eight more days. Promise. Keep yourself warm for me, my sweetheart. XOXO Samuel. And we have some blood on on there. So is it a paper cut or is this Indian burying ground? So let's see, somewhere was, yes, another one. Again the color fades. Very atmospheric that. It's really, <laughs> whoa. I like that. I like that a lot. Increases the immersion in this. Oh yeah, this is what we saw earlier. The vista from the other Another 
another one. Okay. So this was also very interesting to to solve this this riddle because you have to match not only the right slot but also um, the right orientation of the stone. So if you put this like this, nothing will happen. But if I oh, oh throw it away, uh, I will throw it away. Wait. Yes, I'm bit dexterous, but a bit better with the left hand. Nope. Nope. This is not the right. Then that is the right. Those lines have to be completed. Yeah. I'll just try to put the light out. Okay, then I assume that one was this. Yes. Just one. That's not the right. Also not this. Mm, maybe that. Like this. Yes. No. Oh, color fading. Wind effects. Uh oh. Okay. Everything is fine. Um. Never been this. Oh, so one of those stones has been missing. I don't know what happens when I insert the last one, so I will just do a fairly quick save. Okay. Oh, just dropped my backpack there. All right. Last one. Okay, quick save is on. Whoa! Blood everywhere. We opened a gate. Follow the blood. Oh, here's something. Splat. things. Oh, that's, that's scary. I like this a lot. Harder to see. It 
It's weird you want to put your hand there, although you know that you can't do anything about it. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Dude, I got goosebumps. What the? I think I found the guy. Oh! Damn it. Thanks for the heart attack there. Fr Frost Epex. Thanks for that. <laughs> I got goosebumps now. Ah, uh, great. Whew, that's, that's it. Wow. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, um, thanks. I don't know, so the, the, um, backpack, this, these new features there, new game mechanics, the compass, um, really cool. I, I really like that. I think those, those things are, are amazing. Thanks for that. And thanks for the heart attack there. <laughs> A proper jump scare. I love those things. Okay. So thank you. Take it easy. I will just get out here. Or just take another look. Let's take another look. Load this. There was an auto save. Okay, I made a quick save here. I want to see what happens um, if I don't go in there and go back to the other cave. So this was where I had still this thing here. Now this opens. Awesome. But I will just take my lamp and I will get the flashlight out of here. Get the flashlight, flashlight out of here. And into the other cave. I will just make this a bit quick here. Cheesing through the level. Genuinely scared me there. Jump scare is really good. Oh, save some batteries. So why was this stuff here? What kind of mystery can be revealed with that stuff? Just double check. Okay. So, here. Does something happen now when I put this here? Just want to see you. Maybe. Yeah, I'm on, my, on my first playthrough I even played with a light, so um, maybe some Indiana Jones thing where it shows me where I find something. Okay, and now here. See this? All right. So, okay, this, this seems to do nothing, this thing here. Set again just for, for double check this. Yeah. Is there another way, another ending there? Because you made an autosave there. I don't think so. Um, yeah, main menu. I go, I just go there and see if there's another ending. Apart from being torn apart by that creature, what it was. Let's go here. Let's 
see if this was the autosave, which is the dead thing here, dead, there, dead. Or no, no, this is the autosave where I open the gate. It is where I open the gate. Okay, maybe this is, this could be true. So yeah, there's an autosave for this. And I have this. Can I somehow avoid being killed here? Yeah, this really looks like Constantine. Gate to the hell, fire. It's here. There it is. Okay, I hear it. Will this thing save me? Same ending here. I find this. I brought you something. Oh, that is really. Come on. Right, right. <laughs> nice. 